Lord here. Welcome into this channel, Aloy TV. Thank you for subscribing and watching this channel. The Lord will continue to bless and reach your life in the mighty name of Jesus. We have started and established that you were created for a purpose. There's no doubt in that. We have established that you were created to rule, to rule other creatures that God created. There's no doubt in that. We have established that you were created to glorify God. Your life must glorify God. Wherever you find yourself, you must glorify God. In other words, you are a God representative in this planet, this world. There's no doubt in that. We have established the provision that God had made before you were created. Before you were born into the family, into that family, God had made the full provision, sufficient provision for your life that will make you to fulfill the purpose of God for your life. There's no doubt in that. We have established that you are put into this world for a mission. And there's no doubt in that. In other words, you are not created for form. You are not created for form. You are created for a purpose. Now, how will you now live to fulfill the purpose of God? Let me take you to Genesis chapter 5 today. When you started reading Genesis chapter 5 from verse 1, you will see from Adam, from Adam to Seth, from Seth to another man, from another man to another man, till verse 24 of that chapter. In that chapter, you find Enoch. The Bible says Enoch lived certain years in the world. He begotten son, he begotten children, and Enoch lived certain years in the world, and he was no more. What does that one mean? Enoch lived, he was the only person that lived a very shorted years in life in, the, in that passage. He lived 365 years and he was no more. What does that one mean? The Bible makes us understand when Enoch was 65 years, he begotten sons, he begotten children. Then Enoch found God. He knew God. Then Enoch started serving the living God. He started serving the living God and he served God for 300 years. Years. He served God for 300 years. And in, in his working with God, the Bible said God took him away. My brethren, Enoch enjoyed working with God. Enoch enjoyed doing the will of God. Enoch enjoyed fulfilling the purpose of God during his own lifetime. And may I tell you, a secret. Enoch didn't die the way all his lineage dies. He didn't die like that. He made a name even for God and for his life. And that is why today we can remember, we can, we can, we can reckon with him in the Bible that Enoch lived 365 years and God took him away. He didn't die the way other died. Other of his lineage died and they were buried. Enoch was not buried. It was God himself that took him away. No, there's no one that I can compare you with in this world. God deliberately took him away. Let me, take, let me give you an analogy. Now, Enoch was working with God. God will come to visit Enoch. Enoch will see God off. God will come to visit Enoch. Enoch will like to see him. But one day, as they were just working together, discussing together, there was a boundary that Enoch must reach before he get back. But when he got to that boundary, probably they have not finished their discussion. And he was working with him, he was working with him, he was working with him, he was working with him. And that is how God just took him away. 
Enoch lived a fulfilled life. He lived a fulfilled life. And that is why he didn't die. How any of his lineage died. You will see Methuselah living a very high, I mean, long years in, in this world. But what is, what is his, his achievement? Nothing. Even Methuselah didn't know God, uh, talking, talk less that he worked with God. He didn't know God. It will be a mistake for your life if you come to this world without knowing God. It will be a mistake for you if you are living in this world without fulfilling his purpose. If you, if you are living in this planet, it will be a mistake for you if you don't work with God. How can we work with God? That will be a, your next question. The God that we didn't see. Even if you not saw God, what I, I, that I didn't see God. Because the Bible says God is spirit. Can I be in spirit because, before, be, because, or because I want to worship God? Or because I want to work with him? Yes. But, let me tell you this thing. You can work with God through his word. What does his word say? Remember Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. God told Joshua, this book of the law must not departed from your mouth. Read, study, meditate day and night. Day and night. He said, so that by then you will be successful and you will be prosper. If you want to prosper in life, working with God is inevitable. If you want to be a successful in life, working with God is inevitable. Work with God. Create time with Him. Create time to read this word. Create time to commune with him. Thessalonians, First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 said, Pray always. Do you have time for prayer? Even as a student, do you have time for prayer? Even as a parent, do you have time for prayer? Do you have time for prayer? Do you have time for God? Even when God wants to fish it to you, to communicate with you, do you have time for him? What are those things that take away your time? Internet. <laughs> Internet. Struggling for money. You are looking for money by all means. You want people to know you by all means because you want to ride the very latest car in the world. You are deceiving yourself. The Bible says our life does not depend on what we achieve on, on our possession. Our life depends on the word of God. That is what the Tanoromi chapter 8 says for free. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Therefore, my brethren, this is time for you to give your life to God in order to fulfill his mandate in this world. In order to fulfill his mission, it is time to give your life to God. It is time to serve him. It is time to depend on him. It is time to work with him. It is time to shine for him. May the Lord help you to find help at the throne of grace. Thank you for watching this hour. Till next time we meet. Remain blessed in Christ. The Lord love you. Don't forget to subscribe into this channel and click your notification bell so that you'll be able to be getting every content being put into this channel. God bless you. Bye.